Hey YouTube, um, continuing my push back to expert uh, 2750 with Steelix, Dugong, and Annihilate. So thought process was team bulk for starters. Uh, so I went with bulky Pokemon. Uh, I started with Dugong because I've seen it multiple times as a safe swap and I think it has good coverage in this meta. And I'm like, okay, if I'm going to be flyer cover, I'm going to be weak to like other stuff like rock and stuff. Annihilate, that makes sense. And I was going through my Pokemon. I'm like, I need something on the lead. Um, and I tried a bunch of different Pokemon and then I got to Steelix again. I'm like, okay, you know what? This is not bad because yes, you're double weak to fighting, but I mean, I did see a, um, I wonder if I have that loss in here. I did see a Scrafty, which is kind of like a uh, crap, but, um, the other two fighters are Annihilate and Polyrath, which you can hit super effective with the Psychic Fangs and neutral with the Dragon Tail. So it's actually not bad. So some of those, I think a couple of those are on the lead. You just stay in and play it out. You play out most most things, quite honestly. Like here's a double lead. I'd be surprised if I lead, uh, leave. Um, and so Gligar comes in, just it's an easy answer here with an Ice Pokemon doing double super effective. Um, they could get to two digs. The thing is, I yeah, they, they're going to get to two digs. I figured two digs would take me out, and if they hit, hit me with one, they may get to a second one, and then could bait a nice aerial ace. Oh, maybe they can't get two digs. Well, like, again, if they landed that thing, get bait the aerial ace. So I'd rather shield that. I know Dugong, a lot of them are running... Sorry. Double. A lot of doubles are now running Wild Charge in this meta, uh, just because there's so many flyers, you can just Wild Charge and bail, uh, as opposed to Payback, where there's not a ton that you need Payback for. So knowing that, I will just lower its attack times two. If you want to throw, eh, I don't even know if Body Slam takes me out after lowering its attack twice. They may have to Wild Charge. There it is. That's fine. This will come back in. And again, this is why I like Steelix. This is fine chip. Um, Dragon Tail, Psychic Fangs, even in like, again, these are sort of bad matchups, Annihilate. Um, yeah, sorry, like Quagsire, Annihilate. I mean, Mud Boy essentially is a bad matchup, but like Dragon Tail, Psychic Fangs, just that, that your bulk with those two moves just continue to chip. Um, so, uh, end up taking that matchup. Double again. This one's staying in. So, yes, different matchup. Um, Gligar again. This one, non shadow. So, I'm less likely to shield non shadows. Because Dig does less than 50%. Yeah, I was about to say, I've played this matchup in reverse with the Shadow and Non-Shadow. Holy game freaking. That's not your screen right now. That is the game lagging the crap out of it. You can survive two Digs. Uh, I've played this matchup on the uh, on the reverse, and I know that you survive two Digs. So I have a bunch of moves. They CMP me, so there goes all that energy. But that's okay. Um, having them dump energy, again, um, they're likely to have Wild Charge on the lead. So I'm not worried about a move. And again, outcomes for Alligator. I may stay in here because um, double is weak to counter and the claws are really going to add up on Annihilate. So I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I shield and just stay in here. And that's the thing, like again, bad matchup in even shield, even energy scenario. Not bad when you have a bit of an energy scenario and they let the Psychic Fang go and then these Dragon Tails are adding up. So... I'm just going to stay in here, force them to throw. Maybe now I let this go. Again, a couple claws will hurt, but I can just farm down from this point. I already lowered their defense twice. There's just three claws. They hurt, but now I got a counter user on a double. Um, no point of throwing a move. Just straight counter here. I shield up one move. It doesn't matter. Even if they bait me, wild charge. I think they do body slam wild charge here, but wild charge does not take out. As long as they shield one, I am okay. So... Team Bulk. Steelix against Gligar. Again, this is, this matchup is always so tricky. Yes, you're doing really good with the um, Dragon Tails and Psychic Fangs or Crunch here. Wing Attack is resisted. Um, you'll live one dig. Question is, they're going to get to two. Do you just let the first one go and hope that they either bait the second one or... You can just outpace here. So get the second Psychic Fangs off. Not enough to take out. Um, at this point, I think I just let this go. 
Worst case scenario, I just get some little bit of energy. Yeah, so they do hit second dig. Just get one. <laughs> they probably have an answer for this. Yeah, there's your Annihilate. Um, so it's kind of tricky. So what I think in the moment I thought was Icy Wind will put them at least to 50% so I can just Night Slash with Annihilate. Or I grab a Shield and then I'm in an okay situation. Force them to dump energy here. And they catch on a Carbink. So they have a ton of energy. Like 100 energy on there. Um, 100 energy there. I probably should throw Shadow Ball right away, thinking like, how much can I get here? Because they're, well, I think they're they're gonna live and they're gonna get to Moon Blast. And the problem is I can't really live a Moon Blast, so I have to assume the worst that it is Moon Blast and Shield. But now they are at probably one and a half Shadow Balls already. Um, so I'm like. Night Slash isn't going to take out. I think my only win condition is like a bait there. Like a bait thing. Because otherwise they're going to get it. So maybe I should have shield and tried to like the boost the Night Slash. But it's tough. Annihilate lead. Again, bad lead. But. But. This is just going to be a Night Slash. Not going to take me out. Psychic Fangs will chip a lot if they let this go. Or I'm going to grab a shield and go up shield advantage. And that's okay too. Um, so the Psychic Fang, they let it go. And now it's a race to the next move here. Can I get to one more move? I cannot. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if I absorb it on Dugong. I do not get the fast move through because, you know, stupid game. So they're going to get a free counter through. Oh, and it's a close combat. That sucks. Who runs close combat? Anyways, out comes a Empoleon. And I'm like, okay, they're just going to try and grab a shield. And I think they stay in here. And I'm like, oh, if you're staying in, you're staying in because you're weak to this in the back as well. So let us Night Slash. Most likely grab a shield back, and then you're probably just going to try and get one more move off. That's exactly what happens. Uh, so that's fine. I will, I'm will. i fine grabbing a shield. I'm fine taking it this low. Um, and let's see what's in the back. It is a dugong. So I am just going to try to night slash counter chip this below 50%. That's my only goal here. Um, and I grabbed a shield with that night slash, which is huge, because now I get the Shadow Ball CMP for the... Put it in the deep, deep red. Um, and now, because they just dumped all their energy on CMP, I'm going to win with the draw run. So kind of lucky there. Um, the back line really lucked out for me here. But that's right. Why? If you're double weak to fighting and you have a flyer in the front and you're running ABB, you got to draw out a fighter or you're just going to get yourself in this situation. So good lead. Um, again, kind of slow here. I'll live one, but it will hurt. And I have Dugon, which will resist everything. So I would not be surprised if I just, yeah. I'm going to throw Crunch to grab a shield back or take this into like Ice Shard range. Um, or just take it out. Yeah, that's an option too. Because I have Dugong for the Giratina. So I'm not, I'm not in a rush to get out of here. Because I got another answer for Giratina in the back. So if Giratina comes in, whatever. And so at this point, it's just stay in, right? This is actually a good matchup for me because I have at least Psychic Fangs. Everything they have is resisted. Rock Throw, Rock Slide, Moon Blast, all resisted. Psychic Fangs, neutral. Dragon Tail, resisted, but I'll just keep lowering their defense. And then I will get my Annihilate on this and the Dugong on Giratina. Um, the only thing is they do have Shield Advantage, and I doubt they're going to shield anything here. And this will be the third time I lower their defense. So once I come Annihilate here, they will almost immediately go to Giratina. So the question is, can I take Giratina 2v1? In fact, they go one earlier. Uh, I think I called the Omnis Wind Bait here to win this. Yeah, I call an Omnis Wind Bait. Uh, and now I got super effective Ice Shards. This will grab a shield um, and lower their attack. So even if they throw a Shadow Ball at this point, I don't think it took out, if I remember. I think I like live with like a couple HP. Yeah, I do. And now I get to a move. So I'm going to grab two shields or take this out. Um, so I do take it out. They're going to get a, one or two rock throws. Now the question is, they did dump, dump some energy. So I should just be able to go counter and night slash here for the win. They don't bait. They just go straight. They do lower my attack, which is a little unfortunate, but... Um, once I shielded up the moon blast, they still now need like another 11 rock throws and that is not going to happen against a counter user. Superior. 
kind of a neutralist matchup because these frenzies are neutral and they will chip a lot. Um, you can live one for sure. Just a leaf tornado and does not get the lowering of the attack. Everyone's running leaf tornado. I'll be interested if it's just this meta or if people start running that in because people are running leaf tornado for two reasons. Um, I mean, one in this meta, there's you can cover your like weaknesses a little easier with superior, so you don't need to run air lace. You can just cover that sort of other weakness with other Pokemon. The second thing is frenzy is a must. Forty-five, one twenty, two point six seven damage per energy. Air lace is still a crap move. Forty for fifty-five. Leaf tornado is also a crap move. Forty for fifty-four, but. 50% chance of lowering your opponent's attack by two. So if you hit that Leaf Tornado, which is quicker to get to than a Frenzy, um, and again, damage per energy is bad, but if you get that lower attack times two, it like forces your opponent out. Um, so that is why it is a, such a strong movement. That's why a lot of people are using it. Because um, it's... Yeah, actually quite quicker. I mean, Vine Whip's not a long-term move, but it's Frenzy 6656, the fast turn moves it takes to get to a Frenzy, and it's only 5555. So you get to it faster on the 1, 2, and 4th time around. So it's not insignificant. Again, it's a bad move, 54 damage, but 50% chance of lowering your attack. That's why everyone's running it. Um, I get the double bait here, I believe, to win this matchup too. So I did pretty well with this team. Um... They throw, but not going to matter. Just looking at my comments for today here. I think this is one of the last battles. Nope. Six minutes to go. Oh my god. Okay. Six minutes to go. Let's just talk random stuff since it's very again. I've already gone over this team. Very simple. You're staying in with pretty much everything. Um... I don't know what Pokemon I would get out with. Something that would have to resist Dragon. Like, Mandibuzz is tough, but like I don't even think I would get out of that. I think I'd just stay in and Dragon Tail Crunch the whole time. Like, there's, I don't think there's that Pokemon I would leave, Steelix, quite honestly. Um, no, I don't think there is. So I just stay in, again. Maybe I get out of like the Scrafty, but... Otherwise, just, yeah, Stan Steelix. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk stuff, because there's two weeks left in the season. So, again, this affects a couple things. I should have thrown. I don't know why I didn't throw there. This affects a couple things. So, two weeks left in the GBL season, but also the larger season season of Pokemon Go. So, the summer is the best of the three seasons, right? Three month periods, June, July, August is always the best. You have global go fest and stuff like that. Um, for that, there's two weeks left into this GBL catch cup next week. And then an open week. Again, I mentioned in my other video, actually that, that video is going up this afternoon. So I will mention it here. If you have catch cup teams, please send me catch cup teams like that you play with, because I link in the description because I was looking through my Pokemon and it's basically going to be Annihilate plus two others in the Great League and those two others are not a lot of options. Um, but I probably will build them up because I have to build something up because I still haven't hit Legend. Two weeks left in the season. I will try to grind Catch Cup with a good team but again, I don't have a lot of options. So if you have teams, please send. Then it's the next season. Um, everyone in the comments has also de is dealing with these leg issues. Um, Again, these leg issues are really rough. They, it's not just like it's frame drops. It's like just everything freezing. It's everything. At least, like I said, Niantic under knows this is an issue. This is not just them like, I mean, this is them ignoring it. They know it's an issue because they addressed it for the last week's regional where they um, paused their G pause the player's GPS locate data location paused 
the avatar, paused the background, made them add to each other as friends, stuff like that. So they understand that this is an issue. Why isn't it being fixed quickly? You know, because Niantic does not care about GBL. We know that already. Um, so hopefully, hopefully in some sort of next update, they do fix this. The next season of GBL, um, I expect absolutely no thought to Niantic coming out of this. Um, in fact, not that I don't think they're going to do any updates. When is the when is the World Championship? Uh, Pokemon Play Championship. 2024 i don't think they'll do this again let me just see when the actual august 16th to 18th in hawaii yes so a couple things here one last round last year at this time for the season niantic did zero move updates and they did zero move updates because their argument was they don't want to change the state of the Pokemon prior to the championship occurring, which is complete BS when you change the you, you change the meta every single season, like because they update moves this season and previous seasons. So the meta is changing all throughout the in-season tournaments, but you just don't want to change it for the last season. So it was a BS excuse, and I think everyone knew it. I don't know if they'll do it again. So we may get some updates. If we get um if we do get a lot of move updates i'm not expecting a ton quite honestly um i think you nerf scald here i like i would i if i could do like one thing i would nerf scald and then you're gonna get like a couple pokemon with like new moves or stuff like that i would not expect a bunch of buffs i would not expect a bunch of nerfs i would not expect a bunch of like meta breaking changes um with the tournament coming up so um, I also would not expect a bunch of new um, new leagues. I think we are going to get this exact same formula. Great League, Ultra League, Master League rotating. Um, every single every single week this season had a Great League option. Remix, Jungle Cup, um, Spring Cup. There was always a great league option. I think that is good. And I think Niantic will do that again. But I don't expect them to get creative with um, movesets, like I said. I don't think they're going to get creative with leagues. And I don't think they're going to get creative with any sort of mechanics of the game. So I very much think you are going to see very, very similar repeats. Is there a summer cup? Probably. I forget what the summer schedule is. But you'll get like... Your Great League, Ultra League, Match League rotating, you'll get, uh, I'm guessing same thing. I guess they'll be very, very stupid. Again, I hate these two week long cups. So like March 8th was Spring, was spring Cup Great League. And that was the same with the 15th. And they also did that with Jungle Cup on the April 5th and April 12th week. So they doubled it up and they're doubling up Remix again, the May 3rd and 10th. I fully expect them to do something like that again. Um, I expect them to keep the Great League Ultra Master League, keep some sort of Great League rotation, double up the weeks of like a Summer Cup or some other cup that they've already used in the past um, to do that. So my expectations for Go Battle League next season is not much. Um, I think the focus is not on this at all. I think it is on Global Go Fest and the new Pokemon coming from in Global Go Fest and you got your June Dragon Community Day. Um, that is where Niantic is going to spend all their effort. They're not going to spend any effort in GBL. And we know this. So manage your expectations because that is, those are my expectations. In terms of the gl global season, um, again, June Community Day will be, what was it, Gumi this time around? Um, I think it's Gumi this time around. Um, and then you got your global Go Fest. You got your in-person Go Fest in June, July, and then your global Go Fest at July. Um, with like a bunch of new Pokemon and fusions and stuff like that. So I think that's where the focus is going to be. We should rotate back to the bonus of um, guaranteed XL trades with um, no 100 kilometer requirements. So you should get a guaranteed XL 
candy trading because they rotate them on and off so that should come back um and then yeah again i think it'll be just like it'll be fun because there'll be like new pokemon new events stuff like that but um again from the gbl perspective which was what a lot of you are here for don't expect I, i'm not expecting much so don't get your like hopes up or anything anyways leave your thoughts in the comments about what you think is going to happen this upcoming season um yeah if there's something that you think is going to happen or they've already hinted to something that i haven't covered let me know in the comments um and that is it so i appreciate you watching uh and i will see you guys in the next one